Psoriasis is an autoimmune inflammatory disorder. It is multifactorial. Environmental and genetic factors lead to immune dysregulation, which causes excessive keratinocyte production, leading to psoriatic plaques. On the left-hand side is a drawing of normal skin. On the right is a drawing of psoriasis. In psoriasis, there is edema and infiltration of the dermis. There are also microabscesses and scales and plaques on the skin surface. In red is chronic plaque psoriasis, shown over the knees, elbows, trunk and scalp. Gutate psoriasis is shown in the purple dots. This is usually found scattered over the trunk and limbs. Palmoplantar plantar psoriasis in orange is found on the hands and the feet. Postular psoriasis is found on the trunk and limbs. Psoriasis is known to have many triggers. These include cold or dry weather, stress, some medications, infections, trauma to the skin, alcohol, and smoking. It is thought that when a dendritic cell comes into contact with an antigen, it travels to the lymph node. Within the lymph node, the dendritic cell interacts with a naive T cell. This results in the T cell becoming an inactivated memory T cell. These memory T cells migrate through the circulation to the site of inflammation. They do this using adhesion molecules like ICAM1. The T cells extravagate into the skin. The memory T cells secrete cytokines TNF alpha and interferon gamma, which causes keratinocytes to hyperproliferate. In addition to this, cytokines 12 and 23 are released by dendritic cells and contribute to the activation of T cells. Interleukin-12 acts on Th1 cells, causing them to produce interferon gamma and TNF-alpha. Interleukin-23 acts on Th17 cells, which causes them to release interleukin-17 and other pro-inflammatory cytokines. So in summary, the dendritic cells produce cytokines, which activate T cells and other immune cells, which in turn produce their own cytokines. This causes keratinocytes to proliferate and secrete further mediators, creating a cycle of inflammation. There is an accumulation of immune cells and a thickened and inflamed epidermis. The keratinocyte hyperproliferation leads to the formation of psoriatic plaques.